23 April 2022 Morning Mushli Om Shanti Baptada Matapan Sweet children instill the habit of remembering the father and you will become so conscious you will remain happy and intoxicated all the time and your behavior will be reformed question while drinking the nectar of knowledge how do some children become traitors answer children who on the one hand drink the nectar of knowledge and on the other hand perform dirty activities that is those who have devilish activity and do disservice who don't reform their activities even after belonging to god who talk about things of maya among themselves and who cause sorrow for one another are traitors baba says children you have come here to change from devils into deities therefore talk about knowledge among yourselves and by divine virtues and remove whatever devilish traits you have and yourselves make your intellect pure and clean so my fortune having awakened i have come om shanti you children heard the song and children sang the song anyone who goes to school keeps his fortune in his intellect and is aware that he will pass a particular examination he has the aim and objective of that fortune in his intellect you children now know that you have already adopted the new world in your fortune we have already brought with us the fortune of claiming our inheritance from the supreme father the supreme soul the creator of the new world which inheritance the inheritance of changing from a human being into a deity that is of changing from an ordinary man into narayan he takes you away from this corrupt kingdom of ravan thus is the corrupt kingdom of ravan those who are corrupt are born through vice and those who enlarge in vice are called corrupt god speaks lust is the greatest enemy you have to conquer it only then will you become elevated bharat is corrupt and bharat will become elevated dirty impure clothes are called corrupt there are no corrupt beings in the golden age because there is no kingdom of maya there at this time it is the kingdom of ravan everyone has the five vices in him if the kingdom of ravan existed in the golden age they would burn an effigy of him there too thus things do not exist there they are they are elevated in the cut wall when someone is in a high position everyone accepts him for instance sannyasis are in a very good position and so everyone accepts them because they remain pure and thus is why everyone thinks that they are good even the government believes the sannyasis to be better than them they even make them their rajguru means guru of the ruler there is no mention of gurus and the golden age a guru is someone who grant salvation they have made up stories and scriptures king janak jailed those who didn't have the knowledge of the brahma element or of raj yoga when he received the knowledge of raj yoga he had the liberation in life in a second corrupt doesn't only mean those who accept bribes no the father says all human beings are corrupt because everyone's body is created through vice your bodies have also been created through vice 
However, you now consider yourselves to be souls and you belong to the Father and you have let go of body consciousness. Therefore, you are the mouthbound creation of the Supreme Father, the Supreme Soul. You are God's children. The Supreme Father, the Supreme Soul has made you souls belong to Him. These are very deep matters. We souls have become the dynasty of Supreme Father, the Supreme Soul. The soul says Baba in the Golden Age. A soul will not say Baba to the Supreme Soul. The living beings will say Baba to living beings. You are living beings. Baba has now told you to have the faith that you are souls and to remember the Supreme Soul. The birth of you Brahmins is the most elevated of all. The soul says, I have now become your child. You have not come out of a womb. You have become his by recognizing him. Shri Baba, I belong to you and I will follow your directions. These are very subtle matters. Baba had said, when you come to Baba, have the faith that you are sitting in front of Shri Baba. Souls are incorporeal and Shri Baba is also incorporeal. Only by your remembrance of Shri Baba are your sins absolved. If you don't remember him, you become corrupt. This is such a serious matter. But children forget they are sitting in the lap of the Supreme Father, the Supreme Soul. Because of forgetting, you don't have that intoxication or happiness. If you instill the habit of remembering Baba, you will become soul conscious. There are many daughters abroad. They are not personally in front of the Father, but they still remember Baba. You have to remember Baba with a lot of love. Just as a bride remembers her bridegroom with a lot of love. When she doesn't receive a letter from him, she gets very distressed. You brides have found the bridegroom after a lot of stumbling around. And so you should have very good remembrance. Your behavior also has to be very good. The throats of those whose behavior is devilish choke. Baba can understand from someone's activity that he doesn't stay in remembrance and that is why he is unable to imbibe anything. If someone is unable to do service, he cannot claim a high status. First of all, belong to the Father. First, you have to become a BK. A BK would definitely remember Shri Baba because you have to claim your inheritance from the grandfather. It takes a lot of effort to stay in remembrance. None of you should think that your intellect becomes connected in yoga to Baba. Just because you ate bhog that has been offered to him. No, that is just eating pure food. However, if you don't make that effort, you haven't done anything. It is only by having remembrance that you will become elevated. Purity is first. A soul needs the power of yoga in order to become pure. One cannot become pure by bathing in water because it is the soul that becomes impure. You cannot say that the jewelry is false and that the gold is real. Those people believe that the soul is pure, whereas the body, means jewelry, is false, and that they are cleansing that. Not so. If the soul were pure, then his body would be pure. There isn't a single elevated being here. You would not say this in the golden age. They are, they are completely voiceless. If the costume is impure, how can the soul be pure? It is not possible that the gold would be real and the jewelry would be false. 
you must explain very clearly that at this time not a single one is elevated neither do they know the father nor are they pure you children know that it is the pure ones who make incognito effort to claim the fortune of the kingdom everyone else is to be destroyed this knowledge is for bharat baba says give this knowledge to my devotees whether they are worshippers of shiv or of the deities some have even been converted into other religions they will also emerge from there the main thing here is purity this is why impure human beings make those people their gurus and bow down to them the supreme soul is ever pure you cannot call those people completely wiseless the praise of the supreme soul is different from the praise of the deities the praise of deities is completely wiseless they then definitely have to become vicious and by those things in your intellects and then explain to others yadavas and kairavas as was the king so were the subjects or were destroyed there were the cries of victory for the pandava army but that is incognito in the scriptures they have shown that the pandavas melted on the mountains they have said that an hellenization took place but there is in fact no an hellenization the god of the gita says i establish relation i have come into the impure world to create the pure kingdom i have come to teach rajyoga rajyoga is also taught at the exhibitions everything of yours depends on the way you explain baba had told you to make pictures of how we live while doing rajyoga that the picture of shri baba be at the top we are sitting in remembrance of shri baba and following his directions hit shri shri rudra and making us elevated and far the title shri shri belongs to him why has bharat fallen so far down it is mainly because the belief god to be omnipresent and also consider themselves to be god you know that only the one father is the sat guru this is his birthplace only the father comes and tells you the true story of narayan and takes your boat across the father says you call me alone the purifier i alone have to take everyone back this is the time of settlement when everyone settles their accounts and returns everyone says that there should be new bharat and new delhi however new bharat was heaven it is now hell people continue to become corrupt this matters have to be understood and explained to others no one knows the form of a soul or the supreme soul although they say that souls are the children of the supreme soul the need to have knowledge the father has knowledge souls do not have knowledge they don't understand anything about how many rebirths souls take whether they reside how they come here or how they became unhappy your children know that baba has come to make you souls pure so those divine virtues are also needed i am becoming a deity and so i mustn't have any defects otherwise there will be 100 fold punishment if someone makes a promise for purity and then performs wrong actions he becomes 100% impure instead of doing service he does even more disservice therefore the status is destroyed always discuss knowledge among yourselves we have come to baba to change from thrones and to flowers that is from humans and to deities and to claim our inheritance of heaven from the father 
Just tell one another this one thing. No one knows the form of a soul or the supreme soul. Although they say that a soul is a child of the supreme soul. However, there has to be knowledge and dharna. Those who speak about things of maya or cause others sorrow are called traitors. It has been shown that devils were given the nectar of knowledge to drink and yet they went outside and performed dirty activities. There are many who continue to drink the nectar of knowledge and also continue to do this service. In fact, all of you are Khmaris and there are temples built to have Khmaris. The Delvara temple is your accurate memorial. Among you two, thus sits in your intellects with great difficulty. The intellect has to be very clean. You now belong to God's family. Therefore, just consider how good your behavior should be so that people can believe that you truly do receive Srimad. Only when you become the most elevated of all, here can you receive a status there. Become elevated here. While living at home and with your families, become pure in this final birth. Acha, to the sweetest, beloved, long lost, and now found children, love, remembrance, and good morning from the mother, the father, Bab Dada. The spiritual father says Namaste to the spiritual children. The spiritual children says Namaste and good morning to the spiritual father. Essence for the Dharna. First point Although you eat pure food, you must definitely make effort for remembrance to make the soul pure. Only by having remembrance. Will you become elevated and have your sins absolved? Second point. Now that you have to return home at this time of settlement, settle all your old karmic accounts, only talk about things of knowledge among yourselves. Don't speak about things of maya. Blessing. May you be completely pure and revel the speciality of Brahman life with the royalty of purity. Explanation The royalty of purity is the speciality of Brahman life. From the face and activity of a child of the royal family, you can tell that he is from a royal clan. In the same way, Brahman life is recognized by the sparkle of purity. The sparkle of purity will be visible in your activity and on your face. When there is no name or trace of impurity even in your thoughts, purity means you do not have any type of influence of vice or any impurity. Then you can be said to be completely pure. Slogan A holy swan is one who transform anything wasteful and makes it powerful. Om Shanti Invaluable Elevated Virgins of Mateshwariji This godly spiritual gathering is not common gathering. This godly spiritual gathering of ours is not a common gathering. This is a godly school or college in which we have to study regularly. Otherwise, people simply go to a spiritual gathering, listen to the devotional songs, therefore, a time, and then return home as they were. This is because they do not study regularly, they are through which they could create some reward. This is why our spiritual gathering is not a common spiritual gathering. Our college is a godly college where God sits and teaches us and we fully imbibe the study. 
and at a high status. A master teaches in a school every day and you earn a degree. In the same way, God in the form of the Guru, Father and Teacher teaches us and enables us to attain the deity status. This is why it is necessary to join the school. Those who come here definitely have to understand this knowledge. Understand the teachings you receive here and what you will attain here by studying these teachings. We know that God himself comes and enables us to attain a degree. The whole course has to be completed in one part. Those who take this course of knowledge from the beginning to the end pass fully. Those who join Mita Way will not take that much knowledge. They would not know what the earlier course was. This is why you have to study here regularly. Only by studying this knowledge will you move forward and this is why you have to study regularly. Acha Om Shanti